hard to believe. I never met Sunri, but he's a hero of the Republic, not a murderer. The so-called evidence against him is an obvious frame-up. It has to be. The Sith must have plotted Sunri's downfall to embarrass and discredit the Republic. If you want to solve this mess, I would focus on the Sith. That or check out the murder scene at the hotel. Talk to the other guests. Maybe they know something. I regret I could not be of more assistance in your investigation. Is there anything else? Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manan? Hmm. Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was... damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Firaxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manan. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. The Sith have got the Seltcalf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Good call. Just make sure you don't push him too hard or we might lose him. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information.
I'm sorry, I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any questions to our diplomatic corps. Thank you. Chopa chawa wisiun kun Chiwi aita ka chong chi cha Chuba chi chopa kun wata Chiska ni chu Kinba muli ra bona ji Kinba no kun niksat ab Da hupa botenya go gigi piti Just crunky to pet slimo. Gino moli rani bubo to kimba. Chiska nichu. Kimba muli rab wana ji. Kimba no ku nixet abon. Kakin cha na wabaka on. Tung abashun. Da hupa botenya go gigi piti. Just crunky to pet slimo. Gino moli rani bubo to kimba. No ku nixa. Da hupa botenya go gigi piti. Just crunky to pet slimo. Gino moli ra... Da hupa botenya go gigi piti! Just crunky to pet slimo! Gino moli ra ni bubo to kin... Da hupa botenya go gigi... Da hupa botenya...
How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Of course.
got something on your mind, do you? You got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashik is an uller in mating season. Ugh, frightful. Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of the synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? I'm old, damn it. I'm allowed to be enigmatic when I want to be. And don't you go telling me otherwise. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Breath like a bantha. Oh, very funny. Is it my fault that some people are so easily annoyed? Like impatient little children. With blasters. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yes, Andor Vex was his name. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. I did. Just because someone has the force swirling about them doesn't always mean they have a great destiny. But it doesn't hurt to check it out. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Let's see... Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. Well, let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair, and Coruscant was a small town with a well. <laughs> I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Swirling force, remember? Jedi here. Granted, I was just interpreting the signs, but we get trained in that sort of thing, more or less. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Yeah. Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too, or those could have just been gurgling noises. No, well, anyway. Finally, Grant has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down, or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. Everyone panics, and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recovered. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? Well, hey, the chances may not be great, but... But one has the opportunity to see something like that twice in a lifetime. Anyway, go on. My throat is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoo!
So, Jolie, you decided to leave your little hermitage in the forest and come help us stop the Sith. I guess you realized this was worth coming out of retirement for, huh? Yeah, that's right, Sonny. The Sith are the greatest evil to hit the galaxy since, well, the Mandalorians. And they're the worst thing since Exar Kun, blah blah blah, etc, etc, etc. Okay, old man, you lost me there. Are you trying to make a point? Look, everybody always figures the time they live in is the most epic. Most important age to end all ages. But tyrants and heroes rise and fall, and historians sort out the pieces. Malak is a tyrant who should be stopped. If he conquers the galaxy, we're in for a couple of rough centuries. Eventually, it'll come around again. But I'd rather not wait that long. So, we do what we have to do. We try to stop the Sith. But don't start thinking this war, your war, is more important than any other war just because you're in it. That's an interesting theory, but I don't buy it. The Republic stands for something. It stood for something for 15,000 years. And if it falls, everything will change forever. You believe whatever you need to get through this, Sonny. The bottom line is we both want to stop Malik. So let's not get hung up on the details. Let's just get back to stopping him. The Hoopa Botania go GGPT. Just crunky to The Hoopa Botania go I'm sorry, I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any question. So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around. 